Southwark. Here we are at the mighty Southfield again for the Wednesday Open. Um, it's a qualifier as well, if you want to win the Open, you know, the highest rate. You qualify Wednesday final, which will be later in the year. And there's more chance of me getting malaria than me qualifying today. So I drove here, happy mood, and singing and whistling because my my club were to, got three points last night. We, me and my son went to the to the home of football, at Ellen Road, and we smashed the Nottingham Forest up 2 one. Always nice to beat them. So Mark Morris, Jason, sorry lads, we need it more than you. All. And by the way, stop saying Notts Forest, everybody. It's Nottingham Forest. You, it's, it upsets them if you say Notts Forest. So it's Nottingham Forest. So we got three points. So really happy mood. I even give Ben a treat and everything like that. And then I come here, put my hand in bag, and I'm gutted again. You can, you can see it there, 68 through there. Down the bottom end. Proper gutted. Not a chance. We'll be, be lucky if we get a bite. Um, Although water's come back up, as you saw how low it was at the weekend, um, it's it's uh, it's come back up. So, but that's the yacht club there. You can see the yacht club. There you go. There you go. All the yachters. Roger Edmund. Next pair we've been talking about Leeds and Liam. We went fishing fishing the week with Liam Cooper. We've drawn next peg. So Liam, we've got the pound on, and uh, and his M peg. So he's the favourite. But we're here now. This is the this is what they call the East Lake. You can see the West Lake there where I was on Sunday, and I was right up there in the woods, like there in the woods there with them tall trees. There, that's the woods. That's where we were at weekend. But you want to be twenties and thirties at the moment, which are up there. At the other end, other side of them cars are the best pegs. My pal Gareth's drawn twenty four, so he's got half a chance there. And we've got little or no chance. We we it's. Honestly, you didn't want to be here, but I, I am, and I've got it, and that's how it goes. So I'm all nice and cosy. It's going to rain, which uh, it's, it's cold. It's going to rain. I was going to bring Ben, and I didn't. And you can see there, look, we've uh, you see I've got it all tied down nicely on a big rock and everything. Lovely and cosy in my space creator, and all my new stuffs coming in now. I've got my tubs there. You see for my worms. I've got red worms in that one. Endobinas in that. My ground bait all mixed ready, just need to riddle it out and all my bits and bobs there. So I've got some crisp, I've got some crisp today. And as you know, well, straightforward, natural baits, got one well, trying to escape, he'll be back in, in a minute. Worms casters, pinkies, straightforward. And to be honest with you, it's as simple as that really. It's traditional fishing. And uh, I've got my two all-round rods set up, my 11 and my 12 footers. Uh, we uh, with my braid on and straightforward is that really and I'm, I'm, I've set them up at 35 36 and 50 yard a bit like other day and I'm just there, out there somewhere towards that boy see that boy there can you see it there, oh, there can see it. I won't go that far because go that far I need a beach caster um, but that would be my target so 35 and 50 and basically see what happens but that's about it really there's nothing else to to say. It's uh, going to be patient. If I'm a betting man, I think we'll get one pull. I won't be surprised if we didn't get a pull. But what you've got to remember, this is a strange place. And at some stage, the fish will be down this end. And uh, and if they are, Roger's got a good chance of being on the end peg. And hopefully I can get a few on this, but I didn't realise when I drew how far down here we were. We were really, really down at the corner. I didn't realise we were this far. But when it's mate, when it's red hot and it's warm, you'll want to be down here. There's a load of fish down here. But because it's all big fish at the moment, they don't seem to come down here. When it fishes down here, you tend to catch them pounders and two pounders. But we'll see. So uh, a bit gutted about drawing here, but it's fishing. We'll just get on with it. And uh, have a great day and I'll let you know how we get on. Well, that was a bit better than I was expecting, I must admit. I've had nine fish, a bream and eight skimmers. I've ten pound, um, maybe. Uh, probably smashed up either side. Roger's got three bream and three skimmers for fourteen pound, I reckon. Um, Neil, other side, steady. He's got the same, three bream, three skimmers for probably the same weight. I'm just a bream shot, really. So I've had plenty of bites, you know, I can't grumble. 
our last to catch and I've got to skim wrap an hour and a bit pound and Roger got two and I got another one and I got another one and we're now to, and about halfway through sorry I've chucked out it's sit bottom and honestly it's sit bottom it's gone oh I thought what's up with that and picked up my three pound bream one well that's nice and then just after that I had a pull at Port Rodding and it went on I couldn't believe it two of them had one last match like that so I don't know what that is but bait won't matter but honestly it was about Port Roger and then Roger's had three bring it last hour and uh, overtook me so I've had enough fish I'm gonna finish up like no way I don't think it's fish <laughs> pardon me other end but uh, that's how it goes just caught two little worms and a maggot and just sat there and I've had two fish instantly like 15 seconds and others 15 minutes just sat there so I've probably been banjo and I've got more fish than them so I don't want to cry or laugh to be honest with you but I'll let you know how we get on but I've got about 10 pound I think so but I've caught more than I was expecting so that's one consolation but there are a few fish down here now I'm a bream shark needed a bream and I'm doing it so I can't grumble I must have done something but I'm not quite sure what but I'll find out and I'll let you know how I get on well I've had 10 to shot 11 pound and uh, 16 pound one side, three breed, and 14 other, three breed, and a couple of skimmers. I've had ten, nine fish, so I've been a bit unlucky really. Um, but for all those old ones now, this is what you've got to do. This is the one and only Steve Beebe. This is what you do, look. How good is this? Eh? Ha! Can I uh, come a lift, mate? Look at that, how good is that? That's awesome. It's the future. It is, Tom, the future. That's the future for us, for us oldens. That's absolutely brilliant. Oh, can't fault that. Well done, Steve. Right, just got back. Uh, Southfield. Um, God. It's horrible fishing sometimes. <laughs> uh, Steady's won it to me left. 16 pound six fish and uh roger's had six fish for 14 pound to me right and i've had nine fish for 11 pound odd and i've got a section default so they were first and third so i've been at right end can't grumble i wheezed and moaned and had a good uh, grumble and uh i thought i ain't got a chance but that's where most of the fish were so I've had more fish than them, uh, just had skimmers, just needed one more bream really, or or two, and uh, want them to be a bream, and it won't, so, and I've had a big pull, uh, so that I thought were a bream before I picked Rod up, so, um, why they've had three apiece and I've only had one, I don't know, but I've caught, I've caught more skimmers than them, maybe it's what I put it ground bait, I don't know. Uh, so I've got a, I've got a, a, a default, so not that I wanted. I'm not happy about that. I don't like defaults. Uh, I think uh, if you've been beat, you've been beaten. Simple as that, but I see both sides of it. Um, so uh, it's what it is now. So why have I caught skimmers and and they've caught two more bream than me? I don't I don't actually know. It might be, it'll be just something as daft as what the putting feeder, maybe just good luck or bad luck or whatever. I don't know. It's just what it is. But that's the place, you know. Uh, like I said, I've had three more fish than them and, and lost lost out on weight. But so I'm not so I can't grumble because I've caught nine fish, but I can grumble because I've been beat. If that I hope that makes sense. So when you talk to them, there's not a lot of difference. It's just what it is. Uh, me and uh, Steady's fish same sort of line. Um, Roger's gone a little bit further than me, but not a lot. But we, we've all got plenty of room. It's not, it's not a problem. So I don't know. I don't really know. But all I can say is, um, it's been cold. Uh, mind you, we've been as cozy as out back at Brolly's, but it's been cold and raining, and still caught a few fish. So when it warms up a bit, I hate to think what weights are going to be like. It'd be. I would think it'd be really good. Uh, but I feel a bit more in tune with it today, to be fair. I did feel in tune the other day, my first day back, but I f felt a bit more in tune. And like I said, I just want, wanted one more pull off a bream, and uh, I'm first or second. 
So, so well done to them. And uh, back to drawing board. But it's what it is. I'm not grumbling. Uh, but uh, we'll see what happens on Sunday because we're back there Sunday for the third round at Spring League. Even though I can't win, do anything because I, I missed the first one. Still great matches. Great lads. Great set of lads. And uh, and fishing's weird and tough. And but it's it's great as well. I love it. I do. So we'll have a great night. Uh, I, I don't get I don't get to. Um, uh, Chinese on defaults, so I'm going to see what I've got left in freezer and uh, and sort it out from there. Have a great night.